Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this video. Have a good one. All right, so we got the four-wheel drive fix in this thing. Ended up being about $1,400. Oh boy, truck is becoming kind of a money pit. <laughs> Today, I'm back in Salt Lake City, Utah after a little hiatus in Alaska. I'm slowly working my way back home. All right, so we've made it to Jackson, Wyoming, about a four and a half hour drive from Salt Lake. It's my first time ever in this city, and today we're gonna be doing some exploring. All right, this tiny little ski town is home to lots of outdoor activities, not very many grocery stores, Buffalo, and very expensive real estate. Right now I'm going to the one and only Albertsons here in Jackson, Wyoming, and we're gonna pick up some groceries for our buffalo mac and cheese for tonight. And I'm hoping that we actually get to see the herd when we're driving out to our fishing spot for the day. All right, so bison meat isn't a normal meat that I cook with. Occasionally, I'll pick up a couple packs of it from Costco when I'm feeling crazy, but I'm crossing my fingers that they sell ground bison here because in my experience at least at home it's a tougher meat to find steal one of these from you well not steal it but gross no uh why is everything organic and gluten free here what is this organic macaroni Get in my belly. Milk. Hi, how's it going? Good. Thank you, you too. All right, we secured the goods. The one thing I couldn't find was Chipotle peppers, but that's all right. I can do without some Chipotle. Dude, this truck is so sick. Woo. I need an OBS Ford in my life. Also, it's really funny. Right after I pulled my truck off the lot, I realized that my air conditioner went out. So we're living it up in 80 degrees and sun, blasting some hot air at ourselves. <laughs> and no, it's not the compressor belt. I already checked it. It's something else. It's an old truck. Look what we have here. A whole herd of buffalo. Working my way slowly up toward Yellowstone and there is a giant herd of probably about 200 buffalo. Look at all these guys. I think the only other time that I've actually seen buffalo was like two years ago when I was in South Dakota driving through and I definitely didn't see this many. All right, offward and onward. Mars, she's out back counting
I'm not really sure where the heck I'm going, but somebody at the fly shop today, his name is Jake, recommended a spot for me to check out. So we're gonna see if we can't find it. This camping area is pretty sweet. It's like made for horses. They've got like little horse corrals and fresh water you can tap into over there. Get your horses a drink. And it looks like a lot of a lot of people use these trails for their furry friends. I'm hoping this is the one and only trail. And I don't get too far down before I realize I'm not in the right location, but we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I'm glad I waited until later in the day. Because this is nice when it's all shaded in here. Whew. Let's see how steep this little mountain trail is. And if you look down there, you can see there's the river. So I gotta get down this big steep hill at some point. I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled for places where I think I might be able to access. Could go down right here, but I'm gonna walk ahead a little further because we are slowly but surely going downhill. We might be able to find a better, better spot to access than that. It's as good a spot as any, I guess. That's gonna be a fun one to get back up. And now a word from our sponsor, Shopify. So many of you may not know this, but my job before I started a YouTube channel was actually running a Shopify website. You can imagine college me being able to make a platform where people can buy products. Shopify makes it so easy that I think that you can do it too. If you have a product that you wanna get in front of people's faces, whether it be online or in store with a POS system, Shopify can be your main provider for all sorts of commerce needs. They make it so easy to change your featured collection or how many products you want to show on a page that I can do it from the forest. And with their inventory management system, you can make sure you never skip a beat on missing what products you have in stock and which things you need to reorder. They also have a lot of plugins and applications to make it easier for you to sell your product. And you can easily input any application to go onto your social media network and get your business out there. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, they all integrate very easily into your website and you can sell your products anywhere. If you're indecisive like me, Shopify makes tools for new business owners like their new business name generator and Shopify Learn to help you learn how to scale your business and start from square one. With their product, I have full confidence that anyone can start, grow, and manage their own business. If you're interested in getting your product in front of people's eyes, whether it's online or in person, Shopify is a must. If you want to save some money, use my link, shopify.com slash mav. It's also going to be linked in the description below. It's truly an honor to have Shopify supporting the channel, so thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to the prepaid programming. All right, we are deep in bear country, so I'm strapped with bear spray. We made it down to the river. Down this super steep hill. Ooh, these rocks are slick. Looks like we need to cross here. All right, I came to a spot where I feel like there could be some fish. Um, we are fly fishing today for you fishing nuts or people that are looking to get into fishing. I'm just going to explain really quick what I'm using here. Um, this is a fly fishing setup, five weight. And then we've got a giant grasshopper up here with a dropper fly, like a little, a little nymph with some weight on it. So this is called a hopper dropper combo. It's about two feet below the grasshopper. So this lure is gonna float, kind of act like a bobber. Um, there's a lot of grasshoppers kind of out flying around right now. So trout could hit that too. But if they don't want the big stuff, they're gonna take the little one. Just gonna see if there's something in this hole before I keep venturing. Oh. One just tried to eat the grasshopper. Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> There's a couple fish just sitting on that other side. Let's see if I can get one here. There we go, one. On the dropper. Yeah. What's up, buddy? 
Where are you? Little sucker. Look at that guy. First fish of the day. It's a little sucker. See you, bud. I got a fish. Yep. Oh, he got off. Dang, that was a better fish. I got one. Oh, I got. Woo! Ooh, it's a trout. Nice, got him in the bag. What we got here? A little cutthroat. Sweet. Look at this guy. That is a cutthroat trout right there. They call him that. Let's look at his underside. Oh, there's my nut. Wow, that's a beautiful fish. See you, buddy. Finally got one. He ate the uh, little dropper again. The hookup ratio on the dropper is great. Can't say the same for the grasshopper. Just found like a little hole right here. Water's kind of rushing through. You can see it gets a little bit deeper towards the middle here. And we were just fishing down there. You can see the sun's starting to go down. I think I probably got about like a half hour left of fishing. We'll see if we can't catch a couple more. Then we're gonna head up and cook some dinner. Oh, that was sick. No way. That was so cool, dude. Another cutthroat on the hopper this time. Finally. Dude, he engulfed that thing. Holy cow. There we go. Ah! Let you go, girl. What a great cutthroat. Beautiful fish. Got a good look at his gills, so they call him. They have a part of their gill system. Just have vents through those, those cuts. Why they get their name. That was sick. It's beginning to doubt myself with this thing because I've had four or five fish hit it. That's the first one I've connected with. Uh-oh. Something's trudging around up there. Where was that? I just heard a big branch break. Thankfully, I think it was on that side of the river. I am neck deep in grizzly territory. I keep looking back at the bank right here. See if I see a bear, but with this river volume, man, with this noise here, it would sure be hard to hear one if there's one behind me. All right, we got time for a couple more. Then we should probably, we should probably boogie. Fish. Oh, that was a big one, dude. I think it broke me off. It did. I knew I should have retied. That was huge. Shoot. That sucks. Like halfway back. That is gorgeous. What a view, man. I just noticed something. I was driving out. I got one headlight. Oh, white truck. Found a little pull off right here, right off the road. I think I'm gonna have a pretty epic view in the morning. Just gotta make sure everything seems pretty level. It's pretty good. Got a bag of groceries and I need to make some dinner. It's like 9.20. I need this and I need these.
on the menu tonight. Some buffalo mac and cheese. I guess I should probably call it bison mac and cheese because that is what we're using, but buffalo bison, same thing, right? I think it says bison on the package. It's, it's bison mac. making a roux. In goes the cheese. Buffalo mac is all done. Or not buffalo, I keep saying that. Bison mac is all done. Now that looks delicious. The smell is making me so much more hungry. 
It actually turned out pretty good. You can see a little cheese pull. Just a little bit. Let's see if it tastes any good. All right. Bite number one. Mm. Onions are maybe a little underdone, but they're done enough where it's not disgusting. That's bomb. Probably a better mac and cheese than I've ever made, like, from scratch. I feel like usually I throw in, like, too much flour and you get kind of like that, like, gritty texture. This one's nice and creamy. It's good. I would have liked to have those chipotle peppers. I feel like that could have added some extra, extra flavor. It's not that the flavor's bad, it's just like, it's like mild, you know? It's just, I wouldn't even say it's bland either. It's just like, I can see how the chipotles would have been, would have been real nice. Kind of funny that they have every type of pasta under the sun and I couldn't find chipotle peppers in there. I even looked like near the salsas and stuff. They only had diced jalapeno, but not complaining. This is delicious. I'm going to try my hardest not to eat this entire, entire plate here. No promises. No promises at all. I feel like I need to get more in my mouth at, at a time though. A serving spoon. I'm not sure if I ate too much or if I'm just having like dairy overload, but I had to stand outside for a little bit just to try and digest a little. Stomach settled down and finally. We'll see y'all in the morning. Slowly but surely making my way back to Minnesota. I need to find myself some coffee. I enjoyed having you with in my adventure. I caught some fish, cooked some good food, saw some cool things. You already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.